Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you're rocking. We got my six being to have my back. Because I have yours. Somebody is moving on because they've been patient. Um, we have, yep, moving on. Well, look, this is both of the moving on cards. I didn't even see that moving on card, but this is positive, move, positive moving forward, and this is moving on. So you're doing this because you've had patience. You you are recognizing that it's just time for you to do something um, that you would normally not do, but you have to look ahead, Three of Wands energy, and be able to make a decision to go because at some point your patience is uh and that's you having balance in this situation is not serving you well so the only thing else for you to do is to walk away from the things that no longer serve you and um i'm gonna pull from this deck i haven't used this one i forget i forget what this deck is called a friend of mine is on by um kelly price and r kelly and ron wisely Isley. i said wisely i don't know why okay mr big there you go so, yeah, this is um, a general read to see what your energy is. We have the Empress and the Magician. So you are able to create the things that you want or to be yourself. But the Empress energy, you have to see the beauty in yourself. You know, Magician energy is being yourself, but it also is being able to manifest and to make a decision when, you know, maybe somebody may not see the same thing you see. Knight of Swords energy, Drake energy, be tough, be ambitious. No, that's not yeah, the Knight of Swords energy is not the Drake energy. Um, this is be tough, be ambitious, know what you want, go after it in a single-minded determination. Along with the Hermit card, soul searching. You've been searching and recognizing your strength. That was at the bottom of this deck just a second ago. It was the grandmother's energy of recognizing your strengths. You've been patient and soul searching. You've been, you know, talking to the moon. You know, here it is, the moon cycles. You've been, you know, sitting here and finding, trying to find and meditate about a situation and again you have to be able to you know move forward to see the beauty in yourself and not wait on anybody else to do it for you and empress energy is like your feminine energy and you having to be tough is like the last thing that you want to do although you know that you can be some cards fell on the ground Hold on. yeah you can be yeah there is some type of completion that needs to be happen needs to happen and then we have the world that's the world energy but we also have the um emperor energy sorry i just got a text message the world energy and the emperor energy also with the uh three of pentacles learning what completes you but also understanding that you collaborating with people and learning and implementing the things that you've learned is why it's time for you to move on. So whatever you learned in the process of meditating, whatever you learned in the process of manifesting, whatever you learned in the process of seeing the beauty in yourself, you had to be tough and have a completion. And sometimes that's traveling the world, that's crossing the lines by yourself, but that's you also doing it and being happy about it. Sometimes we have to do the things that we don't want to do, and that means traveling by ourselves um, you know, believing in ourselves. And sometimes we have to walk that journey alone. Let me close this curtain. Uh, we have to walk this journey alone because it's something that um, somebody cannot see or the opportunities and what you're trying to do or how you're trying to explore it. So a positive way of doing things is moving forward. And so I'm going to pull another energy to clarify these cards that are out here uh, to see I'll clarify the Magician, the Empress, the Knight of Swords energy, and also um, the Hermit energy and the uh, World card along with the Emperor energy. Learning to respect yourself. You know, the Emperor energy is respecting yourself. No, So, you know, with the Emperor, the Emperor has to make head over heart decisions all the time. And they have to be analytical when they make these decisions because it's about their stability and sometimes to most it might seem selfish it might seem selfish that they have to walk alone and do things sometimes the emperor can be narcissistic sometimes the emperor can be caring too caring that they rather walk alone instead of trying to have a relationship sometimes the emperor can be scarred you know and this could be your energy but sometimes the emperor can be a person who sorry i don't like the thing that way there we go sometimes the emperor can be somebody who has to 
you know, sit there and look at things and say, well, this is not for me because, again, I have to recognize what the reward comes what reward comes out of the situation or if there will be any type of reward and that comes with understand who completes you who you can work with as a team the magician energy is here the magician energy is clarified do, do, do. bye yep judgment energy having a realization that nobody is going to walk along see this is not about finances but if you are this emperor and you're worried about all money 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 you know, the Ebenezer Scrooge type energy, at the end of the day, they'll look back on a situation once you've moved on and have to say, was that w worth it? You know, all that glitter is and gold, was that worth it? As they tell you, remember you had this person in your life, remember you had that person in your life, somebody who can manifest all the things that you want, but all you saw was the glitter. You didn't see what the beauty was for this person. And um, that is where the Empress energy comes in at. Yeah, King of Swords energy, air energy. You didn't see the beauty, so here it is. You had the sword there, but once you learned the beauty in this person, this Empress type energy, once you learned to that this person was able to create and manifest, you're looking like, how can I do that uh, with, with cancer? How can I manifest the way cancer does? But cancer does this all too easily. Cancer does it out of love. You do it out of... Um, uh, what is it called out of greed and there's a difference so the knight of swords that that is be tough be ambitious know what you want that's what you have to go after and recognize that the three of cups energy you have to be grateful for the people that come into your life who who appreciate you but it takes a lot of um, going and traveling the world to really find the people who you can celebrate with and so once this energy is there they realize that they weren't grateful for you and that they were grateful to have all this different type of companionships with on the outskirts of you while you were in their soul searching and trying to be patient and find um, something out of this community that you had, that this person was dealing with, you know, and it was like they kept coming up, cancer kept coming up blank because of the fact that, you know, yep, there was nothing there for them. You can manifest everything, the world energy and also the magician energy, which is, right here uh, have the same elements and it's the con the the common denominator is that you have everything that the that this person is looking for but they can't they're so busy worried about the glitter and you're learning how you know about once you get this how do you maintain it and that's the difference between the soul searching and the searching and the friendships that you have and that they uh are searching for they're searching for searching for recognition from people and you and reward but you're not searching for that you're searching for long-term stability and if you look at this energy you moved on positively because you are soul searching you're not really caring about the glitter and the gold you're caring about the foundation and the more patient you are the more um the more it gets to a point to where you start to resent a person and take things personally Jupiter love is on by Trey songs and so with this soul searching and them realizing the completion that this is all they wanted everything here is about you know looking at the gold cups the gold and the treasure and this is like having the crown but not really learning how to maintain it that's what you were able to do and as they get older as they get older whether male or female they start to really contemplate that they learned a lot from cancer, but now they're alone, if that makes sense. And so uh, let's, and, and you have all the traveling knowledge when they're afraid to do that, to take a leap like you. World energy completion comes out twice. Uh, yeah, six of cups. And this is the nostalgia that they're going to have when it comes to you. They're going to be the one that got away. Six of cups energy is just, you know, nostalgia, childhood memories, innocence. They're going to see the beauty in you and all the quirky things that you wanted. But uh, when it comes to them, four cups energy, excuse me, four cups energy, it's a four, emperor is the four. Yeah, you're the one who actually was able to set boundaries. And they, uh, you know, and you were doing it, you know, while you're traveling the world now, but they're alone. And you, you know, they realize that you're happy with boundaries set for them. And they're realizing that, if that makes sense, you know. So look at him there 
you know, having everything. All this is like solo energy or partner type energy or friend type energy, but um, nothing about being with a person until they realize that you set those boundaries, but you set them while you were traveling the world. And that's what this is, moving on. You know, you're moving on, but it's not bitter. You're not bitter about moving on because it says positive movement forward. You're not worried about that. I don't even know if that card deck went like that. You're recognizing that you guys just move differently. You know, um, song cry. Um, EJ by Jay-Z, you know, uh, I can't see him coming down my eyes, but I got to make this song cry. Yeah, Night of Swords Energy. So look at this. This person is sad. They're being reprimanded behind something that they did. The Knight of Swords energy, be tough, be ambitious, know what you want, go after it in a single-minded determination. Well, this was them going after, you know, uh, how they treated you. You know, this is what they did. You know, you try to talk to them and say this or say that, and this is how they treated you as a younger person. And now they're realizing that, you know, and now they're trying to, while you're running to go after the things you want, to me is on, I'm, I'm into you with Fabulous. You know, while you're running uh, and, and enjoying yourself, they're realizing that those boundaries and the way that you left, nobody else would have done them like that because everybody else worshiped the ground that they walked on because of the things that they had, not necessarily the things that, you know, everybody wanted to hang out with them wanted to see what is this person doing, you know, and everything else. And you were like, let's build this foundation. I'm being patient with you. I'm waiting. You know, it's a different type of friendship here, you know. It's like these people are learning. These people are partying. That's a different energy, you know. So they're learning together, and these people are partying together. And so that is why you just had to just say your piece and move forward. And sometimes you can't say your piece. You just have to move forward because – the heart knows what the heart knows. And again, you moving forward because this person isn't willing. They're reflecting now that you've done that. And it's hard for them. So I'm going to pull from the heart's hidden secrets to see what comes out. But yeah, it's hard for them to really recognize, yeah, that you guys did have chemistry, but it's there no, it's not there anymore. Chemistry in the reverse. There's no sparks there with you. You moved on, you know, and at that same time, they're looking, you know, you realize you're better off happiness and clear headspace. And so that's where this boundary card comes in with you. Normally, you would be sad about protecting yourself and setting the boundaries, right? Normally, you would be like, oh, I have to do this, even though I don't want to, you know. Um, but this is this is the this is what you had to go through in order to be able to see things that you're better off because there's no more. There's no passion there. You guys aren't seeing eye to eye they want they want the riches and you're manifesting them and they're they're doing whatever it takes to be yeah um this is negative mindset i don't really do the curse thing the witchcraft and the hex you know if somebody is talking um uh negative about you or feeling or doing something to you you know send strength and healing to them that's the easiest form of flattery is is one you know however it goes but I don't give people that energy. You don't have control over my life, and you can't say anything to, to you know, I'm not sending anything back to you with strength and healing. I hope you heal because you have a problem, not me. You have a problem with yourself, and I think I was saying it in my last read. Damn it. Um, I was talking about the realizations, yeah, Lady London and B. Simone. B. Simone was talking about, um, you know, the battle rap, and she said, um, you know, how did she feel about the battle rap that's going on between Drake and Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar? She said, what if somebody wants to battle rap you or they have a problem with you? She said, you know what? They don't have a problem with me. And just like Drika Gates says, Kevin Gates' wife, you're not hurting me, you're hurting yourself. So uh, Lady London said, who is a cancer, if you have a problem with me, in actuality, you actually have a problem with yourself because I go around and I spill love in the air and I, I i want people to to win i don't want anybody to lose so if you got a problem with somebody you got a problem with yourself and if you don't like something that i do it's because you don't like yourself and so that's you looking at it in a different perspective we just don't we just don't want what, what you know what each other want we want two different things and that's that and so i'm gonna pull from what's the tea to see what it was that you were dealing with or how you were dealing with this energy but yeah you know you don't have a problem with anybody 
you just, you know what? I, I sense strength and healing. And at some point, I'm going to take this card because it's trying to come out, photo proof evidence. Yeah, at some point, you will realize that, you know, everything that this person was doing was was unstable. They were a liability and not an asset. And that's where the broke ass is because you're trying to build a foundation of togetherness and building two is better than one. But as they look at all the stuff and the money that they spent, you're setting healthy boundaries and you're doing it with ease. And they are struggling with either trying to figure out how to get back to that way that they used to be when that's the past. And they still dwell on that. And they still go around the people. Look at that. They still go around the people who um, kept them in this negative mindset of thinking that this will last forever. You know, J. Cole says, uh, what does he say? Um, there's no such thing as a life that's better than yours. This person is always in that negative mindset of thinking that this all will last until they get to that Ebenezer Scrooge energy and they start saying, remember how you spent this? Remember what you did this? Remember when you had the best chemistry with cancer, but remember how you treated cancer? You, you, you thought cancer was never really going to amount to anything and cancer is trying to live their best life and now you're reflecting and either at one point you try to find a cancer in anybody else which is never will, will never happen and um now here it is you have to deal with the consequences and that's what Ebenezer Scrooge went through same shit different day you know that's what Ebenezer Scrooge went through and now they're reliving the same energy uh because they were uninterested in the things that you want and the realizations are there understandings and awakening that the way that they talked to you and the way that they did not want to grow with you and they treated you was wrong. And so that's kind of where you were patient at and they realized that nobody would be so understanding and patient uh, and loving and, you know, go through the same shit every day um, and the same um, uh, treatment every day um, and, and be able to come out happy still. And that reminds me of the situation with Cassie and Diddy because she sat there forever. And maybe and maybe Kim Porter did too. They sat there all this time and dealt with this narcissistic-ass person and was all the physical, mental, spiritual, and emotional abuse that was probably going on, allegedly. I don't know. Well, we do know about Cassie. But all of the stuff that was going on, they sta stayed there. And they left and they found happiness. And, you know, he's, he's, they, he still tried to shake her up, like, as if he was going to win. I don't even know why I was trying to pull this, but the Knight of Cups, yeah, following your heart and looking in a new direction. So this is a sideways energy, which is unsure. The Knight of Cups energy is always follow your heart. It'll never lead you astray because it knows things the mind can't explain. So they were trying to follow their heart, but and not look in a different direction or not turn it turn a cheek if that's how it kind of seems to me um, or not expand or, or understand that there's frustration and delays in regards to following their heart, but they were loyal or, or I, I could say Kim Porter and Cassie had to be because Kim Porter was there for a long time and she wasn't just with Diddy. She had an, other successful relationships. I think, what is his name? Dallas Austin, which is who's baby daddy? somebody's baby daddy um I think I want to say Dallas Austin is either one of the escape girls baby daddies I don't remember but anyway you know she was in a relationship with him and I'll be sure so again Knight of Cups energy you know when you're unsure about that it it causes you to feel like moody and like you're living in a fantasy and that you know, um, you know, you're following your heart. You're unsure. Should I stay? Should I go? You know, because it keeps nothing is changing. There's no chemistry there. There's nothing that's going to change this person. This dude is always partying. And now here it is. I got to be able to move on gracefully and, you know, communicate that through the world or, you know, basically figure out a way to communicate that I'm leaving, you know. And so that's kind of how I see that energy, if that makes sense. And you know, again, having the courage to be able to do that and set boundaries. So look at the difference between these boundaries. Once you're afraid to leave, you're you're cringing and setting boundaries. So once you leave and see what it feels like to be around people who's really going to love you for you, 
you have the courage to be able to go and go through anything. Wand energy. It's a lot of wand energy out here. Um, you know, the wand energy, excuse me, the wand energy is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, fire energy. But again, you have to be the one to take a leap. And now this person is reflecting because at one point they were uninterested. And so this is the realizations on what real boundaries look like. At first you're scared, but once you do set them and you realize that all the lies and the, the stuff that they told you wasn't, you know, is isn't possible that, yeah, they can do this, they could do that, whatever the situation is, um, it looks, starts to look different and you start to move forward. And then you go back to color purple with, uh, Seely said to Mr. Everything that I did, I ever ask you for anything. I didn't even ask you for your sorry. You know what I'm saying? And that is the energy that it believes that I believe that Cassie was in once she started to find love and got remarried and things like that. And it, it seems to me like everybody was like that except Kim Porter because she couldn't let go of that. And that's the hard part of staying after, you know, so much loyalty is there that's what it looks like that's exactly what it looks like not just kim porter but like i said cassie as well yeah reject because you're like this is my twin flame we i see so good but this person wants my way this is a separation is the secluded separation soul searching again pregnancies happen yeah losing sleep you'd be worried playing events uh event thinking about you it says uh replaying things so you're losing sleep until you get strong enough to be able to just really realize that your patience came with a price, but it also taught you a huge lesson on boundaries moving forward. And so that's just kind of how I see that. Now, I'm, I think that was a really good read. Um, I'll pull from the Twin Flame Karmic or Soulmate Energy uh, card deck because, again, it's it's not easy. It's not easy to determine if this is your twin flame. But the easiest thing, the hardest thing you got to do, what is it? Is walk away. The hardest thing that you got to do. I'm trying to think who said that. It's the hardest thing I had to do. Yeah, and manifest something different. The bottom bottom of the deck is running and chasing. Yeah, because the same shit different day. You and your twin flame may switch back and forth between the two worlds, often out of fear of experiencing true intimacy, and that's what it is. You know, always partying, you know, you having patience, always partying. And then, you know, you man, you start manifesting the things that you want. It says practice the law of attraction. It says and become aware of your thoughts because you're interacting with the conscious universe. And so this was when you start to really recognize that you have the power to have anything that you want. You have the power to manifest the things that you want to be the magician. And that's where the thing comes in at when you have uh, go into hermit mode and you practice the law of attraction, you actually learn how to get out of situations and do it uh, without having recognition or being at peace with the situation and being and having rewards. It's a different type of show. You see what I'm saying? You learn. And so that is where we're going to end this and pull from the crystal deck and from the four agreements. And we have don't make assumptions, learn to ask questions. So moving forward, no more losing sleep. You're going to ask questions before they even get to the point of relationships, situationships, and things like that. It says it is all. It is always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions until you are clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer you, to your question, you won't have to make assumptions because you will know the truth. And that is basically the whole town laughing at me is uh, jagged, jagged Edge on on <laughs> by Jagged Edge. The whole town is laughing at you because, again, you had a baby or they had babies. They're always partying. Um, all of these different things that's happening, right? And um, you feel like the whole town is laughing at you until you realize that moving forward comes with a positive change. And that's just that. And that's the patience that you had. And that's why you went in and you were soul searching because you felt rejected and you really understood the difference between somebody always wanting things their way, their selfish, stubborn, arrogant, pride and ego. And also why you had to seclude yourself, which is hermit energy, um, you know, and separate reflecting and soul searching. So mm -hmm. the Dalmatian Jasper is the root sacral and solar plex chakra. 
protection, reflection, and service. Protection, reflection, and service. And it says, I go with the flow of the universe knowing that I am protected. Back to being protected somewhere here. Do, 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 do. Where was protected? But the whole town is not going to laugh at you. And if they do, oh, well, you were you were trying to do what you, what, what you needed to do with it for this thing called love. And that's where you are. So let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation. I love you guys.